Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to GIS World channel. Today I would like to talk about the graphical modeler or model designer which is allows you to create a complex model using the simple and easy to use uh, interface. So let's start. First of all, you must come to the processing and after that the graphical modeler and by double click, you will see model designer model and you have the chance to des design your model here which has you have the input and algorithms to define and to do it. So before I start, I would like to define, for example, first we have the project, find the buildings that are within the distance of the less than 400 meters from the school. As you see, we have a one school uh, vector layer here and we have the buildings here and we would like to find the, uh, those buildings which are the, within the 400 meters from the school and at the end maybe creating one PDF maps from the result. I already created one model which is here and if I just double click you see we have the layer you can just choose it and as a school and all buildings and you know you can define the buffer distance and even it's up to you according to the project is a 400 as I said but you can even define as a 500 and it will be done and the output uh, buffer you can define where to be saved or just create a temporary li layer or the final result and at the, at the end final map PDF so, so let's uh, check it for example how is this uh, edit the model and if I just come to this model that I defined for example I started from the school and after that doing the buffers and the output buffers and the make an intersection between the buildings and the schools and the final result from the uh, um, buildings and at the end export print layout as a PDF which is the algorithm algorithms and after that to have the final map PDF so let's learn how we can do it together first of all we must come to the processing toolbox as you see here and after that the model and we'll create a new model and you see this is the empty model designer and as I said we have the input and algorithms here and here at the end you can just zoom in zoom out and you know export the result as a script or as a image or as a PDF or as a SVG so it's up to you and you can just save it so let's start as I said, uh, we have one, uh, first of all, we must define our input and we have one vector layer here and by double click it, it will come and you can just, uh, the description, the name of the, um, this uh, school, let's define as a school, as I said, and just the geometry type, even you can define the geometry type, maybe we can just consider it as a, any geometry type. And if I just OK, it will be added here and maybe uh, this in the model properties, we can just the name and uh, it's up to you, GIS word tool, for example, it's up to your project. And uh, after that, OK, we have this vector layer. And as I said, we would like to make a buffer, first of all, from this school. And we must come to the algorithms and just write it down. This is the, this algorithms part is exactly like a processing toolbox into your QGIS file. And just writing down the buffer and just double click. It will be added here. Description you can just add the another description and you can here is very important. You can define the value, pre-calculated value, model input, algorithms output but the model input here for us is important because we would like to take a, a information or the this vector layer which is the school as you see it will come automatically and here we have the distance but let me just finish this part and after that i will show you how we can have the extra part here and just okay it will be added here and just take it to put it here maybe like this and you can just make it bigger or smaller is up to your project and it has been added so right now we would like to have it this distance buffer distance and if I just come here to the strings because which is the strings and let's write it down the buffer uh, distance and uh, everything seems is okay and even you can define the default value but let's keep it open for example if you would like to have a 400 500 or it's up to your project because it will be like a plugin and later on it can be updated according to your wishes and if i just add it here so right now as you see there is no connection between this buffer distance 
and these uh, buffer algorithms so let's uh, make a connection as you see this is the distance and as i said this is the model input and it will be connected automatically to the buffer distance and it seems and you can even do it for the segment end cap style and whatever you like dissolve result or uh, some other information if i just okay it will be connected so before going to the next step, which is the um, intersection between the buildings and the result from the uh, buffer, we would like to have one the, the output uh, result from the buffer. And if you just come down here, buffer, we would like to have the result here to see, for example, output uh, underline buffer. If I just OK, you see this is the result right now. So it means we will see the result in, into the uh, into the layer panel and right now very, uh, we would like to have the, this from this output buffer the intersection uh, between the buildings all buildings and if I just go to again to the input this is again uh, mm, this is the vector layer and we can just name it as all buildings and if I just geometry you can just any geometry type and if I just OK you can just take it and uh, put it here and so right now we would like to add the intersection because this intersection this algorithm intersection which is a connection between these all buildings and output buffer if I just come here inter section let's find it as you see here it will be added here you can just the name and just let's first of all add it here it seems okay and let me just give it a little place here maybe and bring it here and let's see so we would like to make a connection so this is the input layer but we would like to take from the model input and uh, the output algorithm output so we take the the result from this the, the previous algorithm which, which was the buffer and we name it the buffer and the overlay overlay layer we would like to make a connection between all buildings and if i just model input and all building has been added and the, and even you can just uh, input field to keep and it's up to you to you know to make uh, your model bigger but this is really important here dependencies and you can just uh, choose it here for example this algorithm depends on to the buffer so first of all the buffer must be done and after that you can do the intersection i hope it's clear to all of you as you see it, it is connected uh, to each other and uh, right now at the end we would like uh, let's have the result here the final result it seems everything okay and let's see how it's working here yes all buildings uh, added we would like to have the buildings and after that the buffer distance we can define as a 400 and the schools is okay output uh, buffer and the final result and if i just uh, run my application and let's close this one and you see the final result is uh, completely okay because these are exactly the buildings uh, are within the less than 400 meters from the schools so it was completely okay and if i just come again to my application let's find it uh, where is that and right now we would like to have the uh, to export this map to the print uh, or creating the pdf map from that again we must go to the algorithms right now and if i just export uh, print layout as a pdf here and if i just add it here as you see this print layout uh, for example right now i would like to define a, uh, to take the value because i already created one print layout in the qgis which was then i name it uh, i don't know which name idea layout one for example or is up to you how many layers you gave it and after that it will be created just uh, and here final pdf map uh, let's just make the map a 
little better here and if I just OK you see the result in this way and if I just uh, run the application here you can it's uh, completely same like before and the final map uh, you can just uh, say file 2 for example here I would like to uh, test one and let's see how will be result and if I just building is correct school and even the buffer is uh, correct because output buffer is a result from the buffer and after that the final result this is the connection this is the intersection between the output buffer and the all buildings and it will be everything will be done and the result will be saved as a pdf and if i just run so let's see again the result is here and let me just check uh, the and just bring it here to check test PDF and you see the result has been created as a PDF map and it was completely easy and very fast to do this so and if I just for example if you would like to make uh, some uh, changes or I think I haven't saved this one and even you can just save it here and it will be here just you can just give it some name and I just uh, and it will be you know automatically uh, going to the processing and it will be saved as a model I just uh, created those uh, models uh, some days ago and you can just give it the name and it will be saved here and uh, even for example if you have some if you would like to do some changes for example this is the model that I created uh, intersection tools and if I just go here to the edit uh, models you can just uh, change the name uh, or giving you know adding some some new parameters or input or adding some new algorithms in it which is which can be uh, possible to do this or exporting the result for example uh, edit uh, rendering style for the output or export model as a python algorithm for example if you would like to develop a plugin later on you would like to take some uh, some of uh, those algorithms as a python plugin uh, Python code and after that you can develop your plugin easier in this way. I hope you enjoy from this video. Uh, it is a very important topic and if you have any question or suggestion in this way please write it down in the comment section and I will try to answer your question as soon as possible. Thank you very much and see you soon. Bye.